بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's uh, lesson which is the grammar of the unit 3 but before we do that let's re revise our previous lesson if you remember the pair work lesson it was saying with a partner write your own uh, quote about home if you, if you remember this exercise to write your own quote your own saying about a home for example, we have written, home is where one starts from, or home is the comfiest place to be. Home is the shelter from all sorts of storms. Home is where the heart is. So this was our uh, previous lesson, the uh, pair work. So let's jump to today's lesson, the grammar lesson. These are today's objectives. To identify the pattern of adjectives in an opinion, use two with adjectives correctly, use enough with adjectives correctly, write a correct infinitive phrase, demonstrate an understanding of the adjective order, write a suitable infinitive, write sentences using the adjectives. So today we'll be talking about adjectives and also we'll be using two and enough. In English, adjectives usually go before a noun. Of course, we know that the adjective comes before a noun. For example, we say a big house, a beautiful garden, a large tree, and uh, so on. So this is the adjective order here. Let's read it together. When, uh, when you use more than one adjective before a noun, the adjectives go in a certain order. So when we want to describe a thing using more than one adjective, maybe one, two or three adjectives, so there's a specific order for them. Again, when you use uh, more than one adjective before a noun, the adjectives go in a certain order. The order is determined by category. Adjectives usually follow this order. Opinion, size or shape, age, color, nationality, and material. For example, the opinion here, uh, expensive or difficult. So, so you're giving here your own opinion. Uh, size or shape, large or round, age, young or ancient, color, red or turquoise, nationality, Saudi Arabian, British, material, glass or wooden. So this is, so this is the, the uh, when, he's, when he says here, uh, it's uh, by determined by category, this is what he meant. For example here, the beautiful old stone, the beautiful, so this is an opinion, beautiful, old this is an age then the stone house this is a material so opinion then age old then stone the material and we are describing the house again the beautiful old stone house has been put up for sale the second example here i have two large brown sofas in my living room i have two large so this is size brown color sofas in my living room as we can see here size or shape comes before color again i have two large brown sofas in my living room note here usually usually only one to three adjectives are used to modify a noun at a time so usually we use one two or three adjectives to describe a noun so this is the order here opinion size or shape age color, nationality, then material. Describe some classroom objects. Use two or three adjectives. T try to describe some object in your uh, classroom. For example, the uh, large white board that you use to project maybe some lessons. For example, the uh, big green door for, the, for your classroom and so on. So try to come for, for some examples, try to come up with sentences, use two or maybe three uh, adjectives to describe something that's in your classroom. For example, a thick red English book. Thick red English book. Or an expensive new computer. An expensive, this is opinion, new, this is old, and computer, this is what we are describing, of course an expensive new computer, a long yellow pencil, long shape, yellow color pencil. So shape or size comes before color. 
a long yellow pencil. Moving on to the next part of today's lesson, two and enough. Of course, we know the meaning of two extremely and enough. Now we know the meaning, but let's, uh, deep, uh, let's dive deeper here. Two can be placed before adjectives and adverbs. Again, two will be placed before adjectives and also before the adverbs. For example here, she can't reach the shelf. She's too short. She can't reach the shelf. Why? She's too short. Or for another example here, you're talking too loudly. I can't hear the news. You're talking too loudly. I can't hear the news. So you notice here, two comes before, uh, before an adjective or before an adverb. Enough can be placed after adjectives and adverbs. Enough will be placed after the adjectives and the adverbs. So two comes before adjective or adverbs. Enough comes after the adjectives or the adverbs. She can reach the shelf. She's tall enough. She can reach the, the shelf. She's tall enough. So it says here that she is tall enough to reach the shelf. The other example here, you're talking loudly enough. Everyone can hear you. You're talking loudly enough. Everyone can hear you. Also, enough can be placed before nouns. Another use for enough, it can be placed before nouns. They should buy their own home. They have enough money. So they should buy their own home. They have enough money. They have the, uh, the, amount, the money amount that can buy this house. Again, they should buy their own home. They have enough money to buy this house. A phrase with two or enough can be followed by an infinitive phrase. If you remember the infinitive, two plus the base form, two and the base form of the verb. Again, a phrase with two or enough can be followed by an infinitive phrase. For example, you're too sick to leave the house today. You're too sick to leave the house today. You're not well enough to go to work today. You are not well enough to go to work today. I have enough days off to go on a trip. I have enough days off to go on a trip. So you can use two or enough followed by the infinitive. For example, you say, this is too good to be true. When you say about something that surprises you because it's very good, you say, it's too good to be true. This is another example for using two and enough followed by an infinitive phrase. Two means more than is necessary or wanted. Two, it all, it's almost uh, the same meaning as extremely. Two, it means more than necessary or wanted. Enough means sufficient, the amount of something that is needed. Again, two means more than is necessary or wanted. Enough means sufficient, the amount of something that is needed. So enough, it means the perfect amount to do something. She is tall enough to reach, the, uh, to reach the shelf. They have enough money to buy the house. So they have the perfect, the correct amount of uh, this thing to do that thing. So add to or enough correctly. So these are some sentences. Try to put to or enough in the correct place. For example here, shh, you're noisy. Again, shh, so someone is shushing here. Shh, you're noisy and too. So where do we put the uh, two word here? Yes, that's correct. You're too noisy. You're too noisy. And the second one here, we don't have time to do that exercise. And the word here is enough. We don't have time to do that exercise. So we want to do exercise, but we don't have time. So where do we put the word enough? Very good. We say we don't have enough time before the noun here. We don't have enough time to do that exercise. We don't have enough time to do that exercise. Number three, the house is clean and the word enough. 
the house is clean and the word here is enough. So let's check the correct answer together here. Yes, the house is clean enough. The house is clean enough, so stop cleaning now. That house is small for a family of eight people. That house is small for a family of eight people, and we have the word two. So where, where does two fit in this sentence? Let's check the correct answer here. The house is too small for a family of eight people, so they have to get a bigger house. The house is too small for a family of eight people. And the last one, is that old chair comfortable and the word enough? Again, is that old chair comfortable and the word enough? So I think this is an obvious one here. Let's check the answer. Is that old chair comfortable enough? If yes, then we will buy it. Is that old chair comfortable enough? So the answer is yes or no. So here's a language builder for you. Adjectives come after nouns that refer to measurements. For example, he's six feet tall. So these are the adjectives that comes after nouns that refer to some measurements. Nouns refer to measurements. He's six feet tall. They were two hours late for the meeting. Two hours. So this is measuring time here. They were two hours late for the meeting. They also come after indefinite pronouns such as someone, nothing, and everywhere. For example, did you ever meet anyone famous? Did you ever meet anyone famous? He said something very important. Again, they also come after indefinite pronouns such as someone, nothing, and everywhere. And the examples are, did you ever meet anyone famous? He said something very important. So exercise A here, rewrite each sentence, putting the adjectives in the correct order, add commas where necessary. So we'll be rewriting these sentences, putting the adjectives in the correct order as we, le as we learned uh, previously. The first one is already done. There is a round, small table in the kitchen. If you remember the correct order that we took in the beginning of this lesson try to read it in the uh, try to read it in the page then get back to this exercise there's a small round table in the kitchen a small round table in the kitchen so number one our new apartment is in a brick small building our new apartment is in a brick so brick is material small, this is shape or uh, size, building. So remember the correct order. So the correct answer for number one is, yes, that's correct. Our, our new apartment is in a small brick building. Our new apartment is in a small brick building, small brick. So we begin with the uh, size and then we go to the material. Number two, the apartment has a old Egyptian wonderful rug. So we have three adjectives here. The apartment has old Egyptian wonderful rug. So the correct answer here is, yes, the, the apartment has a wonderful old Egyptian rug. Wonderful opinion, old age Egyptian nationality rug. Very good. Number three, there are new enormous windows. So the correct answer here is, yes, there are enormous new windows. Enormous size new is for the age windows. Number four, unfortunately, there are ugly velvet brown curtains in the living room. Unfortunately, there are ugly velvet brown curtains in the living room. So number four is... Let's check the answer together here. Unfortunately, there are ugly, opinion, brown velvet curtains in the living room. Number five, but there are lovely silk yellow curtains in the bedroom. So the correct answer here is, 
Yes, but there are lovely yellow silk curtains in the bedroom. Lovely opinion, yellow, the color silk is the material curtains in the bedroom. Number six, the apartment has a formal large dining room. So, yes, the apartment has a large formal dining room. Number seven, it has wood, beautiful old floors. So the correct order here is very good. It has beautiful old wood floors. Number eight, the old fashioned orange small bathroom needs to be remodeled. The old fashioned orange small bathroom needs to be remodeled. So the correct order here in number eight, yes, the old fashioned small orange bathroom needs to be remodeled. So the size comes before the color. Number nine, the bedroom is painted a comforting light blue color. So the correct answer for number nine, yes, the bedroom is painted a comforting light blue color, the same as the question. Number 10, a American nice large family lives next door. So, yes, a nice large American family lives next door. A nice opinion here, large, the size, American, the nationality, family lives next door. Now I think you got the hang of it. So you have to remember the correct order of the adjectives. If you want to use two or three adjectives to describe uh, something. Exercise B here, use the words to write one complaint using two and one complaint using enough. So again, use the words to uh, write one complaint using two and one using enough. The elevator moves slowly, quickly. So you have to use two and enough. The first one is already done here. The elevator moves too slowly, so it's too slow. And you can say, it doesn't move quickly enough. So you can say, it's the, it moves too slowly, or you can say, as it says here, it doesn't move quickly enough. So enough here is after the adverb. Number one, the lobby, dirty, clean. The lobby, dirty, clean. So use two and enough here. Let's check the answer. The lobby is too dirty. It isn't clean enough. The lobby is too dirty. It's not clean enough. Very good. Number two, walls, thin, thick. Walls, walls, thin and thick. So use two and enough. Let's check the correct answer here. The walls are too thin, they aren't thick enough. The walls are too thin, they aren't thick enough. Very good. The neighbors, inconsiderate, considerate. The neighbors, inconsiderate and considerate. So, let's check the answer here. The neighbors are too inconsiderate, they aren't considerate enough. Number four, the, the neighbors talk loudly, softly. The neighbors talk loudly and softly. So the answer here is the neighbors talk too loudly. They don't talk softly enough. The neighbors talk too loudly. They are very noisy. They don't talk softly enough. Number five, the painter painted carelessly, carefully. Very good. The painter painted too carelessly. He wasn't careful enough. Number six, the bed, soft, firm. The bed, soft, firm. So use two and enough here. Very good. The bed is too soft. It isn't firm enough. The bed is too soft. It's not, oh, it isn't firm enough. Number seven, the atmosphere, unfriendly, friendly. So this is an easy one here. Very good. The atmosphere is too unfriendly. It isn't friendly enough. Number eight, the bus stop far and close. The bus stop far and close. So yes, the bus stop is too far. It's not close enough. 
the bus stop is too far. It's not close enough to walk to. Number nine, the, the furniture outdated modern. So, very good. The furniture is outdated. It isn't modern enough. Number 10, the mortar wet, dry. The mortar wet and dry. So, yes, the mortar is dry. It isn't wet enough. The mortar is too dry. It isn't wet enough. Exercise C here, complete each sentence with an infinitive. If you remember the infinitive, as we said, two plus the base form. Here, number, uh, the first one is already done. I'm not tall enough to be a basketball player. To be a basketball player. I'm tall enough. Tall enough to do what? To do something. You can complete any of these sentences as you like. For example, number one, I've written, I'm not tall enough, tall enough to reach the top shelf. I'm not tall enough to reach the top shelf shelf number two i'm not tall enough to see over the fence i can't see over the fence i'm not tall enough number three i'm too young so you can say it about yourself i'm too young to drive for example i'm too young to do this here i have written i'm too young to vote in the election number four i'm old enough old enough to do something like, for example, here, I'm old enough to make my own de decisions. I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Number five, I don't have enough money to buy something, to buy a car. I don't have enough money to buy a car. Number six, I can speak enough English. For example, here, I can speak enough English to become an English teacher. Or maybe you can say, I can speak enough English to travel abroad and so on. Look at the picture, uh, page 33. Describe the houses using multiple adjectives. Then give your opinion of the houses using two and enough. So look at the picture, page here uh, 33. Use multiple adjectives. Then give your opinion using two and enough. So this is, of course, is up to you. For example, I've written, it's a beautiful big brown house and also it has too many windows this is my opinion and you can say the house is large enough to accommodate three families so try to come up with your own sentences using enough two and describe it using two or three adjectives and with that we've reached the end of this lesson see you next time inshallah subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum